Good morning, everyone. This is Crypto Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. I'm going to give you the latest on how the crypto market is doing. And uh, remember whatever I said, I am not giving you financial advice. Always do your own research, your own due diligence before you purchase any coin, any gain or loss. I am not responsible for it. Again, I want to say thank you to YouTube for giving me this opportunity to report the crypto or any story that I felt like it needs to be heard. And also thank you to Yahoo News for bringing all these stories that allow me to have something to say and give my opinion. I am so thankful to all my subscribers. Again, I want to say thank you. Thank you. God bless you. So let's go with how the crypto market is doing today. Today is August 10th, uh, 2022 wednesday and uh, we woke up in a nice green day yeah uh, i you know it looks so great for a few days first two days and the road was doing okay then it went down crazy yesterday red the whole day and this morning was like hello i'm back crypto is back so i was like okay okay we're doing our thing slowly so um for bitcoin is 24 thousand a hundred and something and ethereum 1866 and bnb binance is uh 340 dollar and 88 54 cents <clears throat> excuse me guys i'm still under the weather getting better slowly so uh we have bitcoin is up four percent and uh, ethereum is up nine percent and binance is up six percent and ada binance up um five percent okay binance six percent and 88 five percent the top 10 gainers for today we have f l u x t r b i n j o r d o p y r z b c t um f t m uniswap u n i and ave ave jesus christ ave doing well 112 dollar i remember when Ave was $56 to $60 about two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. Now it's 112 man. I'm telling you, Ave is a great coin. It's one that you can really do some daily trading with. Not financial advice. Do your research before you got in. But I had a few coins that I said, not right now. I don't have the financial means to do it. But if I had enough cash on the side, I would daily trade Ave, Avalanche, What's the other one? Um, Ape coin. Um, there was, I think, 10 of them in total. I have a video on that one, uh, which one I'll be doing daily trading. It, it will be a good gain for me right now. And Solana also is a good one. Uh, Poco Dot is a good one. Gosh, that thing went up fast, so fast. I was like, wow, if I had put a good $1,000 in it, right now I'll be cashing out, yeah. You know me. <laughs> I'll make some cash. Where it's available. Anyhow, let's move on to our favorite coins for today. Solana is up um five percent up. It's forty two dollar right now. Yesterday was forty bucks. That's a big move. VVS is up three percent. Shiba Inu is up four point five percent. We have uh, uh Terra Luna Classic is up six point twenty four percent. It's a big one. I was like, whoa, that that's looking amazing. And tonic tectonic. Uh, six point it's zero point thirty one percent down. So I'm not worried about it. I'm sure it's gonna get back to normal. And um, Polygon six point forty six percent up. Kronos is four point zero something up. Um, Elon Musk for some reason I don't have anything next to it, but I'm I know for sure is up. All of them are doing amazing. Later on, when I give you a latest uh, update, I'll let you know how um, Dogalon Mars is doing, okay? And um, I had a, that, I think I'm going to give you that story where, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Mark Cuban is saying that um, Dogalon Mars, uh, not Dogalon Mars, Dogecoin. Let me find a story because I wrote it down. I have so much for you guys for today. Yeah, it says Mark Cuban says Dogecoin has more potential applications than Cardano. Come on, really? That's a lie. That's a lie. In a recent podcast, um, Mark Cuban saying that 
Dogecoin has more potential applications than Cardano. Listen, I don't know what Mark Cuban and uh, what's his name, Elon Mars, are doing behind the scene. I don't know what is the potential in the future for Dogecoin. If we stand in it right now and how Dogecoin is doing compared to Cardano, that's a total lie. That's a total lie. There is no way Dogecoin can have more potential than um, um, Cardano. That's a lie, okay? Number one, Cardano, I mean, uh, Dogecoin don't have anything, I would say, in my opinion, to support it. No catalyst behind it, no game, no partnership. I mean, sometimes when you say something, you have to have some kind of proof, some kind of reason to back it up. Unless you have something cooking behind the scene that we, the investors, don't know about. If you're talking about what's going on right now, I really don't see how Dogecoin can be cut out. No, seriously. The only two people that still have Dogecoin have a life right now is Tesla guy, CEO, Elon Musk, Elon, Elon Musk and Cuban Mark. I don't know what is what is it they doing, but it doesn't make any sense. Because for you to say something like that about a coin that's doing way better, that has more things behind it to support it, just to say it does, just doesn't make any sense. I know he allow people to buy um, the stuff from the Mavericks, uh, the T-shirt, the guy, the whatever you call stuff for the game from the game. I don't know if the tickets including, but just because you allow people to use Dogecoin for whatever reason you have behind it, you believe in it. You got to also have the creators, whoever is in charge right now, create some kind of stuff like Shiba Inu has partnership with everybody everywhere, all over the world. If somebody says something about Shiba, you know, I would be the first one to stand up and say, no, this is what we have. This is what's coming. This is what's on the table for Shiba, you know. I would love Mark Cuban to say, okay, this is what we have cooking on the table for Dogecoin. And a year or six months from now, this is what's going to happen to the coin. We do have potential to make it better. Then I could give him some credit. For you to say that right now on how Dogecoin stand, there was nothing to support it right now. To say that is a total disrespect to, to the Cardano team. And I hope the Cardano team respond to it and say, hey, man, what's up? Like, do you actually know what we offered, what we have, where we're trying to take it? Like, what are you cooking that we don't know about? Anyhow, I thought it was a... Something I should have let you guys know. Anyhow, I am so glad that the crypto market is doing wonderful today. Out of all our favorite coins, the only one on red so far is Tonic Tectonic. And remember, I said, do not panic. Whenever it's red, not financial advice. It's time to balance DCA, which means dollar cost average. Don't be in uh, no kind of hurry to sell because you want to save some money. And I had another story. I should tell you guys that one since I'm talking about crypto because I have a lot a lot of story to tell you guys today. But um, since this one is about the crypto market, I might just go ahead and add it on this one because this video is not going to be long. Um, it's about this guy that spent $40,000 in Safe Moon and right now it's only worth... Um, how long, yeah, because I know I wrote it down. Yeah, I know my handwriting sucks, but, um, I need to, how long, I need, I need to, hold on, give me one second, yeah. give me one second, I'm looking for it, because I took a lot of notes today, oh yeah, there it is, there it is, I'm gonna, <laughs> Okay, Dave Partnoys. Dave Partnoys. I believe he's a millionaire. I don't really know much about him. I didn't even try to figure out who he was. I just saw the story. I said, let me bring it to you guys. Uh, Dave Partnoys' safe moon position is down 94%. Can you imagine that? 94%. 
claim he's being sued by Project uh, Barstool Sports founder Dave Portnoy has watched his investment in Safe Moon washed down by over 94%, proving to crypto enthusiasts that he is in fact capable of holding <sighs> during the bear market and um, the stock trader and media personality took to Twitter on Monday to lament his $40,000 investment in the Mimi coin which has fallen into just $2,370.94 after he didn't <laughs> withdraw a single token. Still holding, by the way, Portnoy said, Diamond Hands. To me, Diamond Hands has a limit to spend $40,000. For some reason, guys, you guys are not going to believe this. When I saw everybody was running after Safe Moon, in my heart, something wasn't in it. I said, if Safe Moon is going to make everybody else millionaire, billionaire, may God bless them, this is not for me. I just did not understand it. I did not feel it in me to spend $40,000 and now it goes down to 94% down. You only, your $40,000 only worth $2,370.94, guys. I know some stories I reported, some people are able to sustain the pain because they have millions, they have billions, God bless them for that. But for us, the middle class or the people that's living paycheck to paycheck, can you just imagine, can you just imagine you put $40,000 in any of the coins that we love and it goes down to $2,000. $370, guys. I know I have lost some money before. I have from Shiba Inu. But I know. I have faith. I have hope. I have dream. And I know Shiba Inu is going to go back up. We have a lot of stuff coming for. We have the game coming. We have the Shibarium L2 coming. The Shiba Eternity game card is, com is coming out soon. The partnership with Binance credit card. I mean, you name it. I, I, I don't even have to write stuff like that down because I have it all packed in my head. I know Shiba Inu is going to explode one day. The minute we get out of the bear market, things are going to change for everyone that holds Shiba Inu, any of the other coins. But when it comes to Shiba Inu, I think Shiba Inu is the king or queens of any Mimi coins. And I would hope all the creators, other people who develop coins now will see the footstep that Shiba Inu team had created for all of them. Say, look, you have somebody out there doing the marketing. You have somebody out there on Twitter telling people the latest what's going on. You have somebody out there trying to partnership with different businesses, with different countries, different this, different that. Come on. Like they... I don't have my hat on right now, but yeah, I will put it down just so I can remove it and say I take my hat off to these people. They are not playing. They put it in out there. They show you how you're supposed to do it. And I said before, Doggle on Mars, the, Re the Rebel teams for uh, Terra Luna Classic are doing their thing too. I, 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 can't, I can't say anything bad about them. But all the other team, Tap Tonic, Tonic, which I love dearly, close to my heart. I have a bunch of. Doggle on Mars, these people. Doggle on Mars still haven't had the white paper down. Like, what are you guys doing? You having some, man, God. And, and I have to tell you guys, yesterday, August 8th, I was trying to look for the AMA. Ask me anything for Tonic Tech Tonic. I didn't see anything. I don't know why happened. I don't know if they let us down. I don't know what happened. They didn't have somebody 
and major to able to be able to you know ask the questions i don't know what happened if they reschedule it i did not see anything instead i find a song called tonic and and the song was about if you can see what's in her eyes something and i fall in love with the song <laughs> the song was made 12 years ago but i liked it i keep on listening listening to it instead of finding the ama tonic tectonic ask me anything i i i stepped on on a song and i love the song so like i said guys i don't want to forget what i was saying i always step to something else like shiba Inu team they are doing their thing man so for this guy dave to spend forty thousand dollar and then now it ended up being two thousand three hundred and seventy may god bless him Yes, I understand you have to have diamond hand, but diamond hands, y'all have a limit. And I hope you learn so you don't lose your money the way these people are losing their money. Yesterday, I reported something about NFT, how, um, what's this guy name? Mm, Tom Brady lost $194 in an NFT that he purchased for $430,000. Oh, He's down 236. I think I did the math. And this morning, my son sent me a, a text. He always sent me stuff because he knows I like to report things. And I said, son, I think once in a while you need to watch mom videos on YouTube because I already report that already. <laughs> and that's why I don't like NFTs. You might stay with a hot potato in your hand. In Safe Moon, I never had it in me for it. I don't know why. I just never understood the reason and why they had it created. And um, Safe Moon Inu, and I felt like they, a little copycat, like like they see how Chiba Inu, the Inu group were doing well. And right away they put the Safe Moon Inu and then whoever put money on it, I hope you don't give up. I hope when we get out of the bear market, they're able to recover, double, triple their investment. I never invest a dime on it because until right now, I still don't feel like, I just don't feel it in me. I feel it for Doggle on Mars. I feel it for Tonic Tectonic. I feel it for VVS. I feel it for Terra Luna Classic. And one thing, I'm going to close this video, but one thing I saw Matthew Perry did yesterday, I wanted to give him credit for that. While he was on a live stream asking, you know, responding to questions people had for him, one of the guys say, stop lying to people about Terra Luna Classic. It's not going to recover. It's going to go down. And I saw him write that person name down. I said, way to go, my brother. You have to hold people accountable for their words. Because sometimes, for some reason, people will say something during a hidden argument or doing something, a conversation, and they happen to have, they have amnesia. They forgot they said. So by him taking that person information down, when Terra Luna get out of the floor, hit one penny, five cents, 10 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, he can say so-and-so, I remember you said that. And now this is what's going on. I felt like that was so great. Whenever you say something to somebody and, and they have right to feel a certain way about any coin that we cover that we talk about. But when we put that information down, when things go back to normal, because I'm sure if the Messiah had written down the name of the people that say, ah, it's a shitty coin, ah, you're wasting your time. When he called his 60 million, he could have said, so-and-so, remember what you said? Not to throw it in their faces, but sometimes we have people that just have negative vibes about anything you say. It doesn't matter if you bring this positive vibe, you're hoping, you're dreaming, somebody always got to bring you down. And when you hold them accountable for it, it makes you feel good when it's time to collect. Again, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for everyone who leave a comment. And again, God bless you. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Have an amazing day. And I hope the crypto market stay like that. So we can just collect. In three months to six months, we have some flow, some cash, some green Benjamin, whatever you call it, baby, we'll have some in our pocket and start seeing, hmm, investment is the new way to build the American dream.
now I start feeling it again. I am so thankful to all of you guys for giving me a second, a minute, a precious second out of your time to watch my videos and leave a comment. Again, God bless you. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I have a lot more to come. May God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.